Hello and welcome to my presentation on paranormal creepypastas. This is the mind map I created to show what I think the online media niche looks like. So first I'm showing the types of content you can find in this niche. In the first section there are visual content such as videos, video games or images. There is the audio content such as podcasts and then textual content such as stories that writing, uh, role play, or social media. Then I have the platforms that you can find this content on. First is forums such as creepypasta.com which is an exclusive forum for creepypastas, reddit uh, for subreddits such as r slash creepypastas or r slash two sentence horror, archive of our own, quote tv, and Wattpad, which are all general writing sharing forums. You can find content on social media, such as Discord, which is where you'll usually find the role plays or just people sharing their writing, and then Instagram, which usually has images with some text posts. And then sound content can be found on YouTube or Spotify or other podcast sharing uh, platforms. Next is some prominent creators in the niche. First is Mr. Creeps, who creates YouTube videos and podcasts with the same content in the podcast to the YouTube videos. And Creeps McPasta, who does largely the exact same thing. And then BLXRRII and Ephemeral, who are Discord owners, who are part of the fandom. Then this is access to the media niche. First is on the internet, you have to be able to access the internet because this content is shared online. That is the origin of creepypastas. Um, you need a personal device to be able to access the internet, such as a laptop or a phone. And then you might need assistance when uh, consuming content, such as glasses to read better or earphones to hear the audio. And then there's personas that I've found in this niche. So creators seem to be largely impersonal. It's a one-way communication thing. They don't really interact with their audience that much. But on Discord, I found that it is quite diverse. There's a lot of members of the LGBTQIA plus community and people from many different continents. And then the production of this content. The quality seems to be quite low and I believe this is intentional because it adds to the atmosphere of fear of the unknown. But the audio is usually high quality, which is important because it helps people to understand better. And then the motivation for creating this content mostly seems just to be entertainment, whether that is for the creator or entertainment for the fans. So yeah, that is the map I have created for Paranormal Creepypasta Online Media Niche. Thank you.